Welcome to my Life in a Day, July 16, 2020. I completed my morning exercise about 25 minutes you love my hat It says Vietnam. I got this hat when I was in Vietnam a year, a year, over a year ago. I was due to come back this summer to Vietnam, but what's going on because of the pandemic? So I'm stay foot. I miss my family a lot. Right now is 10.40, making breakfast. My breakfast, two eggs, a tortilla, soy sauce, and hot sauce.
Usually, I don't eat egg in the morning. I I usually eat egg every every day, but since I um I want to cut back on cholesterol, I only eat egg maybe two eggs a week. One a day for women. I have been taking vitamins since I turned 35, I believe. Prior to that, I didn't take any. I remember when um, prior to me taking vitamins, I felt very tired all the time. I guess part of it had to do with lack of sleep because I had young children back then. Like babies and toddler so sleeping four or five hours a night is, is like a, a norm to me and going to work I was like a zombie most of the days so my friend suggested that I take vitamins and I've been taking it since I was 35 15 years Lately, I have to do it. I have to make it a, a routine. In the morning, when I uh, come down to make breakfast, I bring these two bottles. Sometimes, uh, two bottles down next to my uh, breakfast plate, so I can take it. Because if I don't do that, then um, if I don't have that routine, I would forget. I was like throughout the day or maybe in the middle of the day I was like did I take vitamin? Did I? Did I not? <laughs> I don't know what's that supposed to mean that I can't remember if I did or did not eat I guess. So that's why I make it a routine to do it with my breakfast every single day so I won't forget it. I just got to the park right now. I'm gonna stay here for maybe about 30 minutes and then uh, I'll go to the market.
So I asked for mango, coconut, pineapple, and watermelon. I love it here so, so much. It is so peaceful out here. Look in the back of me. It's a lake. Life is so beautiful. If you look at the positive side. So, uh, Right now I want to talk a little bit about um, COVID-19. In my earlier videos, about three months ago, I mentioned about it, pray about it, when U.S. only had a few cases. But today, four months later, the number is really big. From what I read and heard, U.S. is only 5% of the population of the world, but the positive cases that we have here is 25% of the world. That is a lot, a lot. So as of today, July 16, 2020, the U.S. has 3,667,000 and 145 cases. Out of those cases, there's 140,760 deaths. But the recovery, the recovery which I hardly heard of is 1,663,600 over 1.5 billion are recovered or discharged from the coronavirus. So with that number, the percentage of recovery or discharge is 92% and the percentage of death is only 8%. In LA County alone, we have 135,580 positive cases and out of that cases we have 3,684 deaths. So LA County has a lot of cases and because of that uh, our mayor um, just last last Monday three days ago he um, he announced that um, everything had to go back. Everything had to go back now. Um, we are back in quarantine. We were in quarantine for three and a half months in starting in March to the end of June. And then uh, we had just less than a month out. People start going out, doing things. And because of that, the cases spike up, and now we are back, back to quarantine. We are only allowed to go out um, for essential, but going to the park and uh, not staying in a group of, of other people is fine. Being by yourself or just your family is, is okay, as long as you're not uh, partying. So that's why I'm here. <laughs> I love it here very, very much.
you know, um, I did have anxiety in the beginning. It's not so much a, a frame of death, but more of uh, getting sick because I heard so many stories that people, they couldn't breathe and that scared me. That scared me a lot. Um, it's got, it got me to the point that uh, any person that I, uh, I got in contact with, I, I was just so worried that you know, what if that person had it, then um, I could have got it from that person. That lingered in my mind for sometimes. And then, and, 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 and then I took myself off from watching video, watching Facebook, uh, news, word news, TV news, I just took away, I just didn't want anything to do with watching the news for a while. But that didn't settle well because once I took myself off and then if I hear something from someone that make me worry again, I went back to watching and, and back and forth and now, now I, I don't follow it every day. I watch here and there just to get me updated with the numbers but not to the point that I uh, worry about the numbers. But today when I read, when I look up, the percentage of recovery is 92%. That's very, very high. I don't know why I, I never really heard that on uh, the news. All I heard is just the number of people uh, being admitted to the hospital or dead, but knowing that the percentage of recovery is so high, that gives me a peace of mind. I mean, what can you do? At this point, we can all the best we could do is just not being around uh, in a big crowd not doing things that we're not supposed to do, and uh, just stay clean, um, take really, really good care of yourself, like that's what I've been doing, sleeping about seven hours a night, average seven to eight hours, and uh, exercise, you know, keep your body, mind healthy, eat well, and just pray about it, pray that, um, that we will soon get the vaccines and uh, we'll get over this. Another, hopefully in another four to five months, we'll hear something about the vaccines. And um, so that way we will go back to normal. But at this point, this is what it is. It is what it is. We just live day by day and praying to, um, to be all right. And um, I thank you. If you watch this far through my video, I really, really thank you for spending the day with me. This is half of a day. What time is it now? Mm. Right now, I have to look up. I don't know exactly, but I think it's around 1.30. I'll have to look up right now. I'm back to my car now. Right now is 2.16 p.m. I'm going to uh, the market to get a few things for my dinner.
Just enjoy. Every night after I um, work out, not work out, after I ride my bike, I always have a um, small jar of yogurt. This is vanilla. Activia. I love it so much. It's been a long day. How long is it? I woke up around 8, so it's over 12 hours now. Amazing Grace. This is my notebook. Every night, I write 
a page of what's going on and uh, my uh, my thankful prayer. I always leave the um, end the night with a positive note. Always grateful for what I have. That's what I uh, I do every night. So this is my uh, positive and uh, positive word for the night. July 16, 2020. Dear diary, today I recorded my whole day, pretty much everything I did. It's a documentary for this day. I hope and pray that this word soon go back to normal i pray to god to help us get the vaccines no more dying please god i'm grateful for a good day everything was good i'm able to capture about 30 minutes of my life on this video 10 years from now I'll look back and see how 2020 was. I'm always thankful for your love and your grace. I'm thankful that my written and spoken words of positivity will spread all over the world. Thank you, God. Crystal H. Bro. This concludes our evening. It is a few minutes. It, right now it's 8.53. Um, I thank you. If you watch my video up to all the way to the end, I really appreciate you for your support. And um, I, um, I'm, happy. I'm happy that I'm able to uh, capture this day to share with you. And I hope that um, I can inspire you somehow, some way, and that um, everything will be okay. Just, just don't worry too much. All you do, all you need to do is um, take good care of yourself, pray about it, and hope for the better days. I pray, sincerely pray for those who are suffering from the, from the virus. I pray that you soon uh, overcome and um, go back to normal. And I pray for those who are encountering uh, financial difficulties during this time. I pray that you will soon, um, after this, uh, get fine, uh, uh, go back to normal. And as for myself, I'm hoping and praying that I'm able and I will be able to make a living out of sharing my story online and uh, publishing books. That is my hope and dream. And I hope um, you had a good day. And uh, thank you. Thank you for spending the, the whole day with me. And I um, will see you in my next video. Until we meet again. Goodbye for now.